God. Holy Ghost, we say thank you. Ah, Father, we give you the glory. We say be thou exalted, O God, in the name of Jesus. All the glory be returned to you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, I want to say a very big thank you again to all our viewers out there. Wherever you're watching from, America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, wherever you're watching from, I want to say a very big thank you to all of you. Thank you for your prayers, your support. The God of all grace will continue to increase every one of you in your endeavors. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We are all welcome again in this podcast, this episode of today. Glory to God. Quickly, we shall be going into scriptures. <clears throat> Hearing what God is saying, what God's word is saying. We shall be looking into scriptures, the word of truth. <clears throat> the Bible says, the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. <clears throat> Glory to God. <clears throat> Praise God. We started this teaching series in our last episode called Understanding the Mystery of Faith. Understanding the Mystery of Faith. Praise God. So quickly, today I want us to look at what is faith. What is faith? Faith is a spiritual force. Hear this clearly. Faith is a spiritual force. We trust God for speed as we conclude in the next five, six minutes. Faith is a spiritual force that establishes our active partnership with the invisible God, thereby empowering us to subdue impossible situations hallelujah come against the faith is a spiritual force that establishes our active partnership with the invisible god thereby empowering us to subdue impossible situation we have biblical examples of people who stand on the ground whose faith was never staggered People like Enoch, Moses, Daniel, name them. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. By faith. Enoch was translated that he should not see death. By faith, Moses refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. By faith. Regardless. He said, I'd rather choose to suffer affliction with the people of God. I'd rather choose to suffer affliction with the people of God, regardless, with all the luxury in the palace, with all the wealth, the riches, the cars, name them. With all the flamboyant lifestyle in the palace, yeah, by faith, he chose to suffer affliction with the people of God. Praise God. By faith, Daniel said, I will never bow to your God. Whatever you want to do, I know the God I serve will never put you to shame. He was thrown into a lion's death by faith. God sustained him. And he was not hurt at all. Not even scratch, nor his hair. Nothing. Because the hand of God, by faith, he believed that God can, can handle the situation by faith. Now, hear this quickly because of our time. Uh, what makes faith a mystery? Praise God. Hallelujah. Ah, that's a good question. What makes faith a mystery? Praise God. What makes faith a mystery? Number one, faith is a story changer. <laughs> Number two, faith is ever proof producer. Look at that man, that man with paralysis that was paralyzed for many years. He had Jesus was in town. 
but he couldn't know how to reach Jesus. He said, no, he, he pleaded for people should carry him. They lifted him. When they got to where Jesus was preaching, they saw crowd, wanted to, but they couldn't get access into that room. So what they have to do, they quickly passed through the roof of that building where Jesus was preaching. Immediately, they landed him in front of Jesus. Now, the question here is that the elders, the Pharisees, and the rest of the, the, they were asking what well, this is a robbery case. How can you pass somebody through a roof? It shouldn't be done that way. They tried to see how they can look for me. But God, who is the God that sees all things, quickly he say, your sins are forgiven. Then the father, the people there, the elders, they were asking, why is such, who gave this man such a right? Why is he blasphemy? Who told him he has the power to forgive? They never knew Jesus was hearing them clearly. In the spirit, Jesus was hearing what they were saying in their heart. And he told them, corrected them, and said, No, only the Son of Man that has the right to forgive sin. They were all surprised. Immediately, he started. He told the man, Take up your bed, rise up, and walk. Karando Shagaba, thank you, Jesus. These same people who were talking, who gave this man right to forgive, who gave him right to say your sins, I will give you. We were saying this man is blasphemy. The same people were amazed to see the wonder work of God. Say, what kind of man? What kind of man is this? They were all surprised. Thank you. So faith is a story changer. What makes faith a mystery? That was a mystery also revealed to them. If only I can see Jesus. If only I can appear in his presence. I will be made whole. I know this paralysis I've suffered for many years. I will be healed of this paralysis. I will know the end of the story. Praise God. Let me round up with this. Faith is a... Faith is an ever proof producer. Look at the case of Sarah, the same woman who they condemn, who they say the womb is ruptured. This woman has entered into menopause. She cannot give birth again. Her life has cut her. At that age, she stands on the promises of God, unwavering, unshaking, believing that, yes, I know God has said it, it must surely come to pass. That same woman who they condemn, God came through, and the story changed. He gave birth to his son, Isaac. Today, the Bible recorded it. He said, that same woman became so many descendants as the stars, as the sun at the seashore. So many descendants. One woman who could not give birth to one child now became to so many descendants. Oh, Lord, my God. I pray for someone here today, wherever your case has been written off, wherever they say there is no hope, wherever they say nothing good can come out from you again. Oh, your story is changing. I pray for you. May that thing come back alive. Those same people who mock you will come back and celebrate with you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we give you the glory. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We shall continue this episode.